in a previous video I introduced you to the unit circle and we decided that this point on the unit circle is equal to cos theta for the x coordinate and sine theta for the y coordinate. And many of you may have finished watching that video saying, well, we did cos, we did sine, what about tan? Well, I think it deserves its own video, it's pretty special. So let's think about what actually is happening with the tan ratio. Uh, so if we jump in here, we can say that tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. All right, so far so good. Now, what does that mean? Well, we've got an angle here at the moment. It's at about 64 degrees. We can obviously change that however we want to change it. Let's move it over here somewhere. Okay, um, we've got an angle here. Opposite is the blue line, which is the y coordinate of our dot, which is sine theta. And adjacent, which is this orange line here, which is the x-coordinate of our dot, which is cosine theta. All right. So now we have this great identity, which is what we call this thing, that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. And that's why it is true. That means that you can type... Um, tan 54 into your calculator or you can type sine 54 divided by cos 54 into your calculator and you would get the same answer you would get 1.38 which is 0 0.81 divided by 0 0.59 put it in your calculator you'll believe me um now some of you might not be very satisfied with this uh because what we had was a really nice, um, what we would call a geometric representation of cos theta. We had this orange line here, and the length of the orange line is 0 0.59, and that's cos theta. Now we have a really nice geometric representation of sine theta. We say that sine theta is equal to 0 0.81, which is this nice little blue line here, and we can point at it. Now what, at the moment, we can't do is point at some nice, neat little line that is 1.38. Yes, we can. So it's called the tan ratio for a reason, actually. It's because you can draw a tangent to this uh, circle like that. Now that tangent just means that it's just touching the circle and it's passing through that little dot there. Now we're only interested in a particular segment of that tangent. It's the distance from the dot to this guy here. And that is 1.38. So now we have a nice geometric representation of tan theta. It's the distance along the tangent from that dot to the x-axis. So now we've got a little orange cos theta, a blue sine theta, and now this green tan theta sitting there. So that is the tan ratio. Important things to note. Tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. That has implications further down the road. But also, we have this nice little geometric representation of it. And you can see as I change, as I change that dot, that blue line does some, that green line does some pretty cool stuff. All right, that is the unit circle and the tan ratio. Very special.